Hello everyone. Now I will introduce how to use the TinyBit Pro robot car. Part 1. I will demonstrate how to use the mobile app to remotely control the TinyBit Pro car. First, we need remove micro bit from robot car and connect it to computer to download hex file. After the download is complete, insert the micro bit into the robot car. Open the power switch. We can see S on micro bit dot matrix. Second, we need download mbit app and install it on mobile phone. Android users scan the right QR code by browser or search Mbit in Play Store to download app. iOS users scan the right QR code by camera or search Mbit in App Store to download app. After downloading and installing the app, we need to enter the settings interface on your phone and open all permissions for Mbit app. Turn on the power switch of the car, we can see that the searchlight become red and micro bit dot matrix display S. Then open the Bluetooth on your phone. Open the app, Bluetooth will be connected when the phone is close to the car. After downloading and installing the app, open the Bluetooth on your phone. Turn on the power switch of the car. We can see that the searchlight become red and micro bit dot matrix display S. Open the app, Bluetooth will be connected when the phone is close to the car. Now, we can control robot car by app. Turn left and turn right. Play music. Control searchlight. Control RGB light. We have also designed some unique modes for the RGB lights, like these. Next. I will demonstrate several modes of the car. Tracking mode. We need open the track map. And put robot car on map. Click tracking mode button on app. Robot car will start tracking. Obstacle avoidance mode. Robot car detects the distance through the ultrasonic module to control the direction of movement. Click obstacle avoidance mode button on app. When we put our hands in front of the ultrasonic module, the car will turn to avoid our hands. Following mode. Click following mode button on app. When we put our hands in front of the ultrasonic module, the car will follow our hand. Part 2. I will demonstrate. How to download code into K to 1 0 module and realize AI visual function. First, insert TF card into computer by card reader. Download AI vision code from Yarboom website. You will got a AI underscore vision underscore code dot zip file.
Second, extract this zip file. You will go to AI underscore vision underscore code folder. Enter this folder. You can see K210 folder, KPU folder, microbit folder, main.py file. Third, open the TF card you disk on computer. Copy K210 folder, KPU folder and main.py file to TF card. Let's take mask recognition as an example. Enter K210 folder, find face underscore mask underscore detect dot pi file. Copy this face underscore mask underscore detect dot pi into TF card you disk. Then, delete main dot pi file. And rename face underscore mask underscore detect dot pi to main dot pi. After the above operation, the TF card type of K210 has been written into the mask detection code. Remove TF card from computer. Insert TF card into K210 module. Remove micro bit from robot car and connect it to computer by USD cable. Enter micro bit, 3 dot tiny bit course folder, find K210 underscore mask underscore detection dot hex file. Send this hex file to microbit you disk. After the hex file is sent, we need insert micro bit board to robot car. Open power switch of car, we can see 6 on micro bit dot matrix. We aim the camera of the K to 1 0 module on the car at the face, or a photo of the face. When K210 detects a face without a mask, the buzzer will sound an alarm and the display screen will display red, without mask. When K210 detects a face with a mask, the buzzer will play music, and the display screen will display green, with mask.